Hello, you're watching an English lesson. I'm... Mm, my phone is lagging. And it's not the first time. When did I last update it? I think I need to check for the latest update. Or maybe there is a problem with the software. Are you good with gadgets? Do you ever experience any problems with them like I do? My name is Nastya, and today you will hear about gadgets, learn their elements, and revise actions people can do online. What are the most typical gadgets people own? It can be a PC. However, nowadays people more often go for laptops or tablets. What else? You can wear a smartwatch or a fitness bracelet on your wrist. People who are into computer games would love to own a PlayStation. What are some elements of these devices? Any gadget has its hardware, physical parts of a computer or a gadget. And software, a set of programs that tell a computer how to do a particular job. Most of the devices have screens, the part of them where the picture or information appears. A keyboard is a board with buttons marked with letters and numbers that you press to put information into a computer or other machine. A desktop is the main area on your computer where you can find the icons for programs and do all the operations. Headphones and speakers are used for hearing the sounds of your computer. Headphones are worn over your ears. And speakers are equipment where the sound comes from. A USB memory stick is a small card that is used to store information electronically. If you have an old computer, it may lag. To lag means to work very slowly. You say, my computer or my phone is lagging. To help your device work properly, you should always check for updates and install them. An update is the most recent version of a program or a computer. Moving on to the actions we can do online. My favorite one is to shop online. Young adults do online banking, which saves a lot of time. You can read the news or check the weather online. Using a search engine, you can search any information you need. And of course, we all use our phones or PCs to chat with friends. It can be done in messengers or using social media apps. We also share photos or videos on social networks. It's easy to edit photos before sharing. Watching fun videos is another thing everyone does. Oh, that's a lot of gadgets and actions, but I'm sure you know them better than me. Why don't we check how well you can understand this vocabulary? There are five sentences on the screen with two options. Pause the video, read them, and choose the right option. Let's check now. 1. I've just installed the latest update and it has some cool features. 2. I had to take my laptop to a service center. There was a problem with the keyboard. I couldn't type anything. 3. Wireless headphones are much more convenient than the ones with wires. 4. I need to sort out the folders on my desktop. It looks very messy. 5. Every day, millions of people search all kinds of info on Google. Nicely done. What do you regularly do online? Which of the gadgets do you have at home? Which ones do you enjoy using? We've asked similar questions to a few people. Let's listen to what they say about gadgets in their life. Which gadget is the most important to you? This is my smartwatch. I work as a distributor and I need to drive most of the day. At the same time, I have to talk to my clients. That's what I have a smartwatch for. In other cases, I must use headphones or a loudspeaker on my phone, which is less convenient. What do you usually do online? Everything. I have a special app for my job. I often search for info about potential clients. Google Maps helps me get around in the less familiar part of the city. Which gadgets do you use most often? I'm a student and I wouldn't be able to live without a laptop. I need to search for some materials online, type the essays and other assignments. In fact, 
Due to distant learning, I have classes via my laptop. What else do you do online? Plenty of things. I buy tickets for traveling and concerts. Recently, I've discovered online banking and it is a lifesaver. I don't have to stand in queues in a physical bank anymore. After studying, I scroll my Instagram and other social media. I often share photos there. Which gadgets help you in your everyday life? Well, I would say it's a tablet and a fitness bracelet. How do you use them? Most of the things I do with a tablet. I attend lessons from it, I listen to music and watch videos. I'm subscribed to a few news channels on Telegram, so I read all the news in one place. I enjoy chatting with my friends. Another gadget that I use regularly is a fitness bracelet. I do professional tennis training and the fitness bracelet gives me detailed info about my heart rate, burnt calories and covered distance. As you see, everyone has his or her needs, which may be covered by various gadgets. And I believe this is their main advantage. Why don't you listen one more time to hear more details about the speakers? And now, let's check your attentiveness. There are six statements. Read them, then listen to the mini-dialects one more time and match the statements with the speakers. Let's check the answers together now. Irina purchases tickets for concerts online. Igor plays tennis. Volodymyr has to talk to customers. Igor reads news on Telegram. Volodymyr doesn't like using headphones. Irina thinks online banking is time-saving. Well done! And what about you? How would you answer these questions? Which is your favorite gadget? Which activities would you prefer to do online and which ones offline? Now you can talk about gadgets and computers and describe actions that can be done online. I hope you use them smart and not for too much time. Bye.